I'd like to share my experience with you on um, local democracy, on the civil society. I can't see you, <laughs> to be honest. Can you see standing me here? <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> okay, it is a stressful situation, but I try to manage it. Okay, so I'm going to talk on an active citizenship. I'm fully aware it's quite big challenging, not only after this great music, but um, active citizenship, it isn't a high priority in today's public debate. But I'm also aware uh, it's quite important to discuss on hero citizens. It's quite crucial both for today and for tomorrow. You can't see active citizenship. You can't touch local democracy, but you can't uh, live without them either. So, talking about Wrocław, Wrocław, yeah? <laughs> we tend to complain, as many Poles do. We tend to protest against decisions made by authorities. We tend to show that the life elsewhere is better than here. Or, talking about Wrocław, we don't care. We are more interested in our private daily issues. We don't believe we can make change. We don't believe we can influence the public. Partly, I can understand why it is the case. Considering low civic activity of people in Poland, in Wrocław as well, on, the other, uh, on one hand, and huge success propaganda performed by authorities on the other, in the community of thousands of people, Everyone tends to feel that his or her vote affects the political system only in a minuscule scale. But please remember, if a significant amount of people starts to perform Ill illegal actions, when a significant amount of people assume a passive political behavior, don't believe you, that they count in general context, then those behaviors become trends that endanger democracy and weaken the public good. It is the case in today's Polish reality. That's why with my short contribution, I try to, to change it. At first, please tell me, it will be the first very, very simple question, I hope, what is Wrocław? Please tell me, what is Wrocław? It is a city. Great. What is Wrocław? I need more. A culture? I can History. Hear. History. Exactly. Thank you. Community. Community. What is Wrocław? A meeting place. Great. So, people. That's my point. Thank you. Thank you. So, is it a set of streets, block of houses, mm, beautiful places, meeting place, history, tradition, or mixture of all of this because of people living here. I like this last most. In my opinion, Wrocław is like a jigsaw puzzle. It is a set of interdependent systems connected with hmm, invisible bonds of activity of people, their creativity and their determination. So, the next question could be, I found it very interesting. Please tell me, who rules the city? Who sets rules for a jigsaw puzzle called Wrocław? Who rules Wrocław? Citizens? Local government and president. Yeah, president, mayor of Wrocław. Political correct, thank you. <laughs> okay, who rules Wrocław? The aliens. The aliens, okay. God. <laughs> Nature, <laughs> political parties, maybe mafia. Okay, uh, the first answer was citizens, and again, that's my point. I believe people, people, which means citizens, rule Wrocław, or uh, at least they they supposed to. But please remember, it is not the same thing to be a good man and a good citizen, as Aristotle said. 
according to this great Greek thinker, a good man is a person who takes care for him or herself. The good man has so-called arete. It is a set of values like goodness and justice. But if she or he practices arete only at home, it uh, doesn't make him or her a good citizen. A good citizen is someone who practices arete in the public, who participates in decision-making, who has civil courage to stand for her or his local community. But nowadays, in changeable globalized world, one might say, paraphrasing Aristotle, it is not the same thing to be a good citizen and a hero citizen. So, therefore, who is a hero citizen? A hero citizen is more than native, more than inhabitant, more than denizen of a particular place. A hero citizen is someone who can, who wants, and who does make the difference in the local community. A hero citizen is someone who is open towards different, diverse members of the community and is open to different ideas. Do we know hero citizens only from ancient stories, where a hero or heroine referred to characters who, in the face of danger, displayed great will to stand for all humanity? I don't think so. Let me introduce to you my two favorite, although not very well known in Poland, hero citizens. Here they are. At first meet Antonas Mokus. Antonas Mokus is Colombian mathematician. I know you are working on a book uh, on Colombia, am I right? Yeah. Do you know Antonas Mokus, I hope? I was there when he was... Yeah, I was... That's Hello? <laughs> I was there when he was in the election battle. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's why you might know my story, but... Believe me, Mokus, it isn't very popular in, in our country, I, I suppose. So, uh, Colombian mathematician, philosopher, and politician, he started his political career as mayor of Bogota. Um, his term was um, from 1995 to, uh, till 1998. During his term, he became very popular because, um, or due to his springing and humorous initiatives uh, among city inhabitants. Under Mokus' leadership, Bogota saw um, many improvements, like water usage dropped by over 40 percent, um, traffic fatalities fell by 60 percent, homicide rate fell by over 70%, and drinking water was delivered to all houses. How could he manage it? How could he be so effective in Bogota, one of the most dangerous cities in the world? You might be surprised. Mokus believed in people. He believed in civil society. He believed in, in the power of of civic culture. Unforgettable was his personal appearance, for instance, taking a shower in the commercial of conserving water, or walking streets down dressed as super citizen. <laughs> Tough, isn't it? I like the pictures. Really. <laughs> okay, let me explain uh, to you his effective working style in Bogota. If you are from Latin America, you might know that jaywalking is a big um, problem there. What is jaywalking? It is a term that refers to illegal uh, pedestrian crossings over, over the street. So even when people in Bogota have 
safe and good ways to cross the street, they still jaywalk, leading to uh, less safety and more traffic. Uh, so jaywalking was exactly one of the problems that Mokus um, decided to tackle. He realized that Colombians um, were more afraid of being ridiculed than fined. That's why he hired 400 mimes to hang out on busy intersections and to make fun of traffic violators. Any time when um, a mime saw a jaywalker, he or she followed them around, uh, mimicking and mocking the misbehavior. What was the result? People, uh, people um, they didn't want to be uh, mocked, and they started to follow uh, pedestrian rules. Crazy, but effective idea, I think, here. Yeah? So, Marcus started an important change in Bogota by promoting uh, of individual responsiveness of, every, uh, of everyone in daily issues. Yeah? My second favorite hero citizen is successor of Mocus, Enrique Peñalosa, known as well, I hope. No? Oh, okay. Uh, he started his political career as mayor of Bogota as well uh, in 1998. And it was really not easy to him to be in charge after a very well known and popular super citizen. But he managed to find his way to promote his own priorities to develop the city. Uh, he realized something interesting, in my opinion. Uh, a lack of democracy is having cars park on sidewalks. That's why the first thing he did was the removal of cars from sidewalks by raising them and installing boulevards. The Second thing, or the second project of Peñalosa was um, implementing a trans, um, mass transit system called Transmillennial. It was a kind of revolution be uh, because he persuaded people to leave cars, private cars and home, and to use public transportation. He believed an advanced city is not the place where the poor move about in cars, but rather the place where rich use public transportation. A heroic act, indeed. It, lost him, um, it cost him a loss of popularity, uh, but economic indicators in Bogota improved because of greater mobi uh, mobility of people. By the, uh, by the way, he wanted to create people-friendly Bogota. He believed that children are a kind of indicator species. He believed if we can have or if we can build a successful city for children, we will have a successful city for all people. An interesting thing is that he invested public money in, uh, in construction of cycle lines, whereas cars got bogged down in the mud. Yeah? Not typical <laughs> for today's Polish reality. So it could be interesting to know that uh, participatory budget, I can see Wojtek Kambowski already there, yeah. it was introduced in Bogota as well. It was promoted by Peña Losa. Uh, uh, the idea was to make the budget decentralized among uh, particular district, among citizens, uh, uh, so that they have impact on what kind of projects were implemented and how they were allocated as well. So I think after your presentation, it's something what Wrocław can learn and profit from. Mm -hmm. So the impact of Peñalosa and Mokus on development of Bogota was huge. This uh, uh, those two charismatic city heroes turned in, ten, uh, in less than 10 years this one of most violent, corrupted cities in the kind of peaceful model city for all citizens. A model city of all citizens. And now, let's get back to Wrocław. Again, the question, what makes Wrocław as a city, can you tell me what makes, what feature are needed to have Wrocław a city? 
what is important to define a city? People. People. Mm -hmm. What is important to define a city? Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Mm -hmm. what, we, what kind of features we need to have a city? Society. Yes, exactly. Again, my point. So, not only natural determinant, but also political environment, um, public services, education, health, sanitation, recreation, uh, consumer goods as well, public transportation, uh, sometimes not working well, but still improving, I hope, uh, tradition, history, and again, the people. And what is more needed, uh, the people living here are not only denizens, are not only citizens, it's very important to have hero citizens in Wrocław. You can be concerned with my answer right now because it seems to be a very obvious one. Let me show you one example of a hero citizen of Wrocław. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> I like my blonde hair and, okay, I will uh, think about it, whether I should change it or not. But, <laughs> but do I have a right to think about myself being a heroine of the city? I think yes, because I believe it isn't addressed only to very well-known or limited to people in power position. What I mean is everyone can become a city hero. My personal definition is being a hero or heroine of the city is, is, oh, it was too fast. Why? It wasn't me. Having passion. For instance, I used to dance uh, in a folk dancing and singing group. Do you realize that having passions or each and every leisure activity, dancing, singing, arts, sports, and so on, means being hero citizen because you contribute to cooperation with others, because you contribute to building trust between community members. Secondly, being hero citizen means being open towards lifelong learning. For instance, I used to be a Girl Scout. As a head of regional unit, I make, yeah, what is with the presentation? <laughs> yes, me as Girl Scout. Yeah, you can see it. So, I made influence on public policies in Lower Silesia. I wanted to improve relations between NGOs and the public administration. Do you realize that being open towards new knowledge, that participating in non-formal education as we are doing it today during this TEDx event, exchanging ideas, meeting new people, sometimes from different sectors, implementing public uh, projects with them. It is a kind of being hero citizen because you contribute to development of so-called social capital so-called human capital. Hmm, I've got a problem with my presentation as far as can I see. It is the third point of my personal definition. Being a hero citizen means daring to dream. Arthur told us in the previous ses session about his passion and he used the word dare to dream. I share this opinion, so my dream was to influence the public life in Wrocław and in Lower Silesia. That's why I used to be an expert working on, working on, working. I'm not sure, sure, sure whether it is the right slide. Yes, it is the right slide. Okay, working on democracy, working on labor market, uh, advising on social innovation as well. Do you realize that having dreams moves the world forward? 
you surely know enough examples from history. If you have dreams and if you make them come true in the public reality, means a kind or means being hero citizen because you contribute to development of innovative ideas in the place you live. And last but not least is being hero citizen is being professional in your job. Professional in your job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Having PhD, I recently completed a habilitation on improving democracy. Yes. <laughs> in, <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. I mean, due or in this position, I can observe the social and or political reality in Poland. Uh, I can follow the big gap between perfect ideal theoretical models on one hand and the interesting <laughs> reality on the other. Yeah, it's quite interesting but challenging as well. Do you realize that being professional in your job means being hero citizen because you contribute to development of intellectual, human, and material capital in the place you live. So, I hope you can consider or now you can feel or have the same imagination why I can see myself being a heroine of Wrocław. Please remember, it doesn't matter whether others see you as a hero. It is more important you feel you are doing something nice, something interesting, something important for others. That you are a hero in your street and in your neighborhood, not only at home, as we can see it in a commercial, it's not enough to be a hero in your own home. So, if I can be a hero citizen, you can it as well. <laughs> and you, and you, and you. I hope someone is operating the uh, lightning in this room so he or she can it too. Yeah? <laughs> if you are interested in local issues, it already makes you a hero citizen. If you are not satisfied with local things and you are trying, if uh, you are trying to improve the reality here, it already makes you a hero citizen. If you are willing to stand for you, your local community, if you go vote, or if you are willing to be a candidate for next local elections, it already makes you a hero citizen. And last thing, how can you be involved as a hero citizen? There are lots of opportunities in Wrocław. So be open, just look around. They're the first step. And then keep doing and keep trying and trying and doing and have fun and don't give up. <laughs> and if you really want to make a change in your community, someday, somehow, you will find your own way and you will succeed. Thank you. <laughs>